Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today we are talking about monthly favorites and I have quite a bit of new products to share with you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first let's talk about a new dry shampoo that I am loving. It might be my favorite dry shampoo and I know I have a few that I've shared with you guys and it's so funny when I find a new product that I love because then you're like, well, what about all the other ones that you love? I still love those. They're still great, but let me tell you why I love this Fresh Affair from Kerastase. So I picked this up while I was in Vegas last week because I forgot to bring my dry shampoo. I actually shared a dry shampoo hack over on Instagram. If you don't follow me, go over there and check it out. Um, but I did decide to pick up dry shampoo the last night because we were going out to dinner and I didn't have time to wash my hair and it was like, past the point of no return. So I grabbed a small can of this and when I used this, immediately I was like, this is the best smelling dry shampoo I have ever smelled. Like I just wanted to spray it all over my body. <laughs> Smells so good so good. And that's saying a lot because you know I love Orbe and if you've ever tried Orbe products, you know that their scents are like intoxifying. This one's better. I like it better. It is so good. It's also a great dry shampoo. It's lightweight. It refreshes the hair. It does all those things, checks all those boxes. But the smell on this is like, I want to spray this in my hair every day, even when my hair is freshly washed. So, so good. I will definitely be buying the large can of that. Next, let's talk about a couple of products I picked up at the spa. I had a little girls weekend a couple of weekends ago and we got massages at the spa and I always love to peruse the gift shops at spas because you run in and discover a lot of brands that you don't see in Sephora that are kind of more spa specific brands. Well, I discovered this brand called Zents, Z-E-N-T-S, and I picked up their body uh, reparative balm, or I'm sorry, not body, it's just reparative balm, and then their body oil, their cashmere body oil, and I picked them both up in the scent Earth. This scent is, oh my gosh. So it has sandalwood, which makes a lot of sense because I love sandalwood. Uh, fir needle, F-I-R, I don't imagine I could pronounce that any other way, uh, and bergamot. And it smells so clean, very unisex, not sweet or fruity, just like clean and amazing. So I will use this on my knuckles at night. I kind of rub it here. When it gets winter in a couple of months, my hands get so dry and they hurt. They like actually hurt. So I always put aquifer right here on my hands during the winter. So I'll definitely re replen or I'll replace that with this. You can also use this on the elbows, on the knees, on ankles, really anywhere that you want to repair really cracked dry skin. What's neat about this is, first of all, let's talk about the, I mean, I don't even know if you want to call this packaging. It's not packaging. It is like a really heavy weighted rock. I mean, it's like a decor item for your home. And then it has this, listen, do you hear that? I mean, it's, it's like a, it is like a piece of home decor, you guys. But I did notice that you can pull this out. So I would imagine that you can get refillables for this. So you don't have to repurchase the whole thing every time. But I thought this would be so beautiful on my bathroom and just a great product that I can, you know, add to any dry areas of the body or hands. I also picked up the cashmere body oil a beautiful body oil. I don't know what else to say about it. It's a thicker oil. It's not like a lightweight oil like the one I'm going to talk about next. I will mix this in with a body butter and I will put this on right after the shower and I just smell so good when I go to bed. And this leaves the skin glowing. It leaves the skin just very soft, very supple and glowing. It's a beautiful product. So I will see where I can link these and I will link them in the description box below, but I haven't quite looked where I can pick them up um, outside of the spa that I visited. Okay, moving right along. Let's talk about this super goop glow oil. So I, I might have talked about this in a past favorites video, but I love it, you guys. This is, I have really been into using a body oil, and typically I like to mix it with a body butter to kind of dilute it down a little bit, but also to give my skin a glow. Like I'm talking about that JLo body glow. You know, when you look at JLo, and it's not just her face that's glowing, it's her shoulders and her knees and her calves and her everything. This will give you that. I mean, any body oil really will. This is a very lightweight oil, almost more like a dry oil compared to something like this. I just spray this directly onto my shoulders and my arms every day because a lot of times, especially in the summer, I'm wearing you know short sleeves or sleeveless tops and I want to get some sun protection, SPF of 50. And then I'll also spray it here on my chest because of course this area is getting sun as well. And while I protect my face all the time, I can't say that I always put sunblock on my body unless I'm going to a pool. This makes it very easy to apply daily sunblock without sticky, heavy feel, and it gives your skin a glow. Highly, highly recommend it. Okay, let's talk about the Isle of Paradise medium self-tanning drops. Um, 
Love this product. I've been talking about this product for years. This is probably my third or fourth bottle of it. And I've decided that while I've tried and liked many self tanning products, this is my favorite. And the reason why is because it is so easy to do daily. And not that you need to do it daily, but it's so easy to do it two or three times a week when you need to, because it's not an extra step. You know, I, I take a scoop of body butter, put it in the palm of my hand. I take a little body oil, mix it in with that. Then I take, you know, a little kind of syringe of this, drop it in there and I mix all those together and I put it all over my body and I'm getting my hydration, you know, body lotion in, I'm getting the glow of my skin with the body oil. And then I'm getting the uh, sunless tan with this product rather than, you know, taking a mousse, doing that separately than doing all your lotion and body oils. I like to mix a little concoction and I've been using this a ton because we're still in summer and you know, I want the legs to look tan. Okay. Next, let's talk about this primer from Dior. Dior, I feel like is one of those like uh, aspirational brands that I don't really talked about on YouTube, but every time I'm at Sephora, I wander over to like the end cap where they carry it in my Sephora. And I kind of like sit there and look at the products and I'm like, really, you know, mesmerized. But anytime, anytime I shop, I think I talked about this before, I try and look for products that I know you guys are interested in or want to learn more about. It's like this balance of covering brands like that and products like that, that you guys are interested in, but then also like buying products that I genuinely want to try. Um, even if I know it might not be something you guys want to be, are going to be interested in. I feel like that's what Dior is. Um, this is their primer and this is a uh, face and body primer. What caught me is that it was described as being like a plumping and blurring primer. And it really is just that. So this will give your skin a very smooth, like blurred effect. It will blur and minimize the appearance of texture and pores on the skin. Now I always say minimize the appearance because it's not going to get rid of it. It's just going to make your makeup go on and look a little bit smoother, but it's hydrating. It's not like one of those dry silica silicone um, textures in primers. It is very hydrating. It feels like a primer and skincare combined. So it gives you that plumped up supple looking skin. It's very beautiful. It's greatly paired with a matte foundation. It is great for dry skin. Um, it holds your makeup all day in place. I've really been enjoying this primer. Okay, let's move along to a bronzer that I have been loving, loving this bronzer. It's the Danessa Myricks bronzer and it is a cream bronzer. And this is what it looks like. I have the shade light. It comes in three shades, I believe, or at least it did at the Sephora that I picked it up from. It's a cream bronzer, but it has a dry matte finish. It is blendable. It is so easy to apply. You really can't mess it up. It has just the right amount of pigment, not too much. You know, you can have too much pigment pigment because then it makes it difficult to blend out if you apply too much. This you can't. You really can build it to get the level of pigment that you want and it just blends like a dream and it sets and stays in place. This color is perfection for light to mediumish skin tones like myself. The medium, I probably could have done the medium too. It was darker and it definitely would have been a more dramatic color for me, but the dark is very dark. Um, so even though they only have three shades, they cover a wide spectrum, you know, from light to very dark skin tones. It's beautiful. If you are into cream bronzers, this is definitely one to pick up. Okay, let's also talk about the Danessa Myricks Translucent Powder. This is an oldie. I've, I've loved this product for many years, but it's one of those products that I pulled out and continued to use and rediscover my love for this month. It's a translucent powder. It looks white, but this is as like true of a lightweight translucent powder as you can get, you guys. It goes on the skin and just disappears. It mattifies everything. It blurs everything and makes everything look smooth. <laughs> it is lightweight enough for under the eyes so you can set your concealer with it and it's not heavy at all. I think that's what I love about it is you can apply this all day long and it will not make your makeup look heavy. It just refreshes your foundation, absorbs oil, smooths everything out, and then disappears. It's fantastic. Highly recommend, especially for mature skin. Beautiful. Okay, you guys, this blush, I think you know which blush I'm gonna talk about. The L'Oreal Super Blendable Blush. I found, discovered this because I worked with Walmart last month on a sponsored video. And so when I work with a, like a, a Nordstrom or a Walmart or a Sephora, you know, typically the way that it works is, you know, I get an offer to work with them. And then I basically go and shop for makeup that I wanna shop for. I go and, you know, pick out whatever I want. And I picked up this blush and I love this blush. It is called Barely Blushing and is the Super Blendable Blush. So this is what it looks like. It is a really nice, soft, kind of peachy apricot shade. It does have a shimmer to it, 
but I find that the shimmer is very subtle. Let me show you guys here what it looks like on my hand. I'm gonna layer it up. Um, keep in mind my hand is darker than my face, so the color is gonna be a little bit hard to see. But I want you to see that even with several layers, you don't see a lot of glitter, you know, or frost. It gives a really beautiful sheen on the cheeks. You know, I love that word sheen. A sheen to me is like the ideal glow. It's not too frosty, it's not glittery, it's not like, Ah, you know, it's just like pretty glow. That's what it does. It's very youthful. It's very, very youthful. The texture and also the color, so nice. Okay, next let's talk about a couple of brow products. So I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Lift Pencil and I got the shade Medium Brown. This is what it looks like. It comes in a plastic um, component. It has a little uh, pencil end here. This is what it looks like. It's kind of that triangular, you know, head. Not a micro fine tip at all, definitely bigger for a brow. I actually purchased this thinking it was gonna be a fine tip, so I was a little disappointed when I opened it, but I've been really loving it. And then on the other end, it has a spoolie. I love this product. Great color, great payoff. Even though it's a larger tip than I wanted, I was thinking I was gonna get something really fine. I can get nice little brow strokes with it, little brow hairs. As you can see, even though the tip is large, you have that pointed tip at the tri at the top of the triangle. It's a pretty pointed tip and you can use that and create hair like strokes and it doesn't lose the shape. I've been using this for probably two or three weeks and I still have a nice pointed tip. So it's not something that doles out over time. I really like this product. So I'm glad that I mistakenly picked it up. Then I also wanna share this brow gel from Wet n Wild. It's called Brow Sessive. It's the brow shaping gel and I actually have the shade Blonde. Now I pulled this out to use um, um, I don't know, maybe two weeks ago. I, I decluttered my makeup room and threw out so much stuff and reorganized things. And my, my former brow gel, I basically had one little container and I had all my brow products in there. And so basically I was just using what was on top. I wasn't, I didn't even know what I had at the bottom. Now I put them in these shallow drawers behind me. So when I open it, I see everything. And so a couple weeks ago I saw this and I was like, let me try this. I love it. I love it. I don't know how long I've had this, but I love it. Um, and I was surprised the shade blonde works for me. This is what the spoolie looks like. Nice, small, little spoolie. Let me show you what the color looks like on my hand. Now keep in mind, it's light, but my pencil that I use first is darker. So this probably wouldn't work for me if I were just to use this. I have to use that darker pencil down first. That's a really nice formula, you guys. It gives some volume to the brows. Okay, next let's talk about the Aqua Resist Color Pencil from Makeup Forever. I picked this up in black. Just a nice, like, rich black coal pencil. Great for tight lining. I wanted a pencil. I mean, look at how rich that is. Like, oh my gosh, that is just so rich and intense. I have kind of gotten away from using black coal liners on my lid. I'll still use a liquid liner from time to time, but I love to tight line with a black coal pencil. And I want it to be dark and I want it to be creamy and soft. So when I do one little swipe, it's on there. I don't have to go back and forth and irritate my eye. Um, and it stays all day because it's waterproof. Um, I have the shade Graphite. Let's actually take a look because I did, yeah, so I did a video this morning and actually filmed this look and I used it and it's still like on there. It has not faded. I don't know if you can see that, but um, yeah, it's still on there. So highly love, 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 love that product. Okay, you guys, let's talk about a couple of pairs of shoes and a couple of tops that I have. So I have three pairs of shoes to share with you and they go from pretty casual to semi dressy. I got, <laughs> did I share these already? I might've shared these in last month's video. I got like sucked into one of those Instagram ads, social media ads. This is the brand Archie's and I kept seeing them all over my feed. It's a flip flop, you guys, but it has this arch support to it. And I love it. I love the color too. I think the colors are really pretty, like, you know, kind of cool gray. Um, but it surprisingly is like a sexy flip flop if there's such a thing. Whenever I wear flip flops and they're flat, I just feel like, like I'm just walking around kind of flat footed and like, just like, you know, waddling around. I don't know. I feel like this just looks prettier on the foot. 
I know it's strange, but if you have tried a flip-flop like this, I think you probably know what I'm saying. Um, I really love them. They're comfortable. I think they're around 30 bucks, so, you know, not too bad. Then I have these shoes to share with you. I picked these up at the Nordstrom anniversary sale, and they sold out during the sale, but I do think they have restocked them since, but of course they're full price now. These are by P448, and I have a slight obsession with these sneakers. I don't know where it came from, but I have a slight little obsession with them. These are my favorite. So the color of these are a nice, like, cream color it's not too white at all and there's not a lot going on here they're not real busy um, of course you have some fun flare on the tongue you've got this silver glittery you know kind of tongue here and then you also have on the tongue like it's kind of like a mixed metal look here but it's very subtle overall it's a great everyday sneaker you can wear it with jeans shorts even a dress um, I did cut my shoelaces I tried so hard to just use the late or these are the laces that came with them but I tried so hard not to tamper with them and just to like pull down the extra length and shove them down there but every time I would wear them they started off really snug and perfect on the foot but then throughout the day they were like sliding off my foot because they would get a lot wider so I just said, you know what, I'm just going to cut them. So I, I knotted them right where they, I can slide them on. You know, they're not too tight for me to slide on, but once they're on, they're really snug and I just cut them. And I don't know, maybe some would disagree with that. It took me a while. I, I wore them around for probably six weeks before I made the decision to do that. But now I love them. They don't, they don't slide off and they're great. Okay. And the last shoe that I have to share is by Mark Fisher. I don't know what the name of these shoes are, but these are so beautiful. I used to wear heels you know, before I had kids, I'd always wear heels. I wore heels to work. I wore heels out. I always wore heels. I don't wear heels anymore. <laughs> this is about as high as it goes and I need something thick. Uh, it's just, you know, comfort over everything else for me. But, you know, occasionally I want to feel a little dressed up. So I feel like a heel will do that for me. I love the color of this. It's a like a nude kind of bone color, not too brown or warm, um, but not too white or too light. I did have to stretch these here because they were pretty narrow. I have wider feet. So if you have wide feet, this is gonna be more narrow and stiff. I had to stretch it out at Nordstrom and then they were a lot more comfortable. And then as you wear them, they get more comfortable. But I will say if you have really wide feet and you buy these and you try them on, you will be like, oh, these are so tight around my feet. You gotta stretch them out. If you have narrow feet, then it shouldn't be a problem. They run true to size. I got a size seven and they fit perfectly. I also like kind of the squared toe here at the top. I think they're really pretty with jeans. I wear them with jeans. I also wear them with summer dresses. Um, yeah, I love these. I'm so glad I picked them up. I have three tops that I wanna share with you guys. So the first one is the one that I have on. This is from The Loft. It's a long sleeve top and it has this fun little puff sleeve. Isn't that cute? It's got some texture to it. It's got like this um, texture textured texture. <laughs> you can't really see it, but on it, it, it does. And it's really cute with black jeans. And I actually wear this with black jeans and sneakers. So cute. I love it. Um, this top right here, I got at a little local boutique here in Austin, but I did find it online and it's been on sale for a couple weeks. So hopefully it'll still be on the sale by the time that I get this video up. But it is also this little puff sleeve right here, but it's like a three quarter inch sleeve. It's not short sleeve, but it doesn't, it's not long sleeve either. It's by the brand, The Shirt. Um, it's a new brand that I tried and, or a new, new brand. I haven't, I don't own anything else from them, but I'm definitely gonna order more because there's just something about the way that this fits that you feel great in. So I'm gonna order some of their just plain white shirts um, because it's a very, very flattering fit. Okay, then I wanna share this pullover little sweatshirt I got from Athleta and, um, here it is. It's so soft and cozy, and it's a really beautiful kind of blush purple tie-dye uh, pattern, but soft, you know, and subdued. It's not like real dramatic tie-dye. It's so comfortable. Um, I've just been wearing it around the house because obviously it's summertime, but um, I'm definitely going to wear this a ton when it gets colder outside. And it comes in a couple other colors too. I think it came in like a blue and orange pattern, but I just love the soft kind of rosy shade of this. Okay, you guys, the last thing that I want to share is my necklace. <laughs> <laughs> and it is a big, big splurge, but I love this necklace. You're gonna see me wearing this all the time. This was such a treat for me. This is actually our, um, we're celebrating our 14th wedding anniversary in about a week. And this is was my anniversary gift. And I wanna share it because even though it is a very, you know, 
it's not just a casual piece I picked up. This is a very special, special piece. Um, but I want to share it because I picked it up from my friend Jody. She uh, started her own business. It's called the Carrot Concierge. And she specializes in sourcing fine jewelry and creating custom pieces for people. And she actually, actually asked me a couple of months ago to model this necklace for her website. And I was like, sure, of course. So I went and picked it up, took the picture, brought it back to her. And I loved it. I just couldn't stop thinking about it. And I'm not someone that wears fine jewelry you know aside from my wedding ring everything that I have is you know my Kendra Scott or my Dean Davidson pieces which are nice but it's, I don't own fine jewelry but I could not stop thinking about this necklace so um, I will leave a link to her business I always of course want to support small business especially women-owned small businesses and of course she is my friend so there's that disclaimer too um, but yeah I want to share it because I know you guys are going to ask me what's on it what are you wearing you because I'm going to be wearing this all the time now and you're going to want to know so I will link it just in case you're in the market for some fine jewelry I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's a lot of products to share. What are some products you've been loving this month? Please leave those um, down below. As always, everything will be linked in the description box along with my sizes and shades. Thank you guys for the time that you spent here with me. I so appreciate it. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.